Hey everyone, how you doing? Chesty Puller here with another video and this one is how to do the new 70 Ops. This is the brand new Ops um, where they've added the uh, preservers in there to make things just a little bit more difficult. Um, what you want to do is you want to bring a single um, 500 range special force in here. Jeremiah is not the fastest but I don't like taking Sheila in and out and uh, I need Sheila for other things so I keep her with a full platoon. So I'm just using Jeremiah. He's 1.3 speed I believe. Um, Sheila is 1.5 so she's a little bit faster but as long as he's got 500 range all these other characters these uh, special forces are all 1.3 range. So once you uh, get these guys to come out here <clears throat> on this side you're pretty safe with your banshees you're pretty far away from anti-air but you don't want to get your special forces too close uh, to that uh, ion in the back so you notice I've got my special forces on fist and right here I'll press S to stop them I don't want them to move forward at all because that ion will get them all right uh, we've taken care of the defending uh, special forces there on that side, and now we're going to take out that ion. That ion's just going to cause you problems. Uh, if you get in and out real quick, you should be able to, um, you know, not take any damage. I apologize for the delay here. We are in a war, and I'm trying to keep <laughs> uh, my base protected, so it's taking me a little bit longer to... Uh, move things around normally I have everything sitting right there but right now I'm afraid that uh, somebody would come in and snipe my tune so I want to be careful about that okay that was uh, um, pretty much instant repair I did have uh, some damage that I took to my uh, Archangel earlier and it's almost repaired so um, that's why it shows that it's 14 minutes but that's not from this I took a few seconds worth of damage on my air platoon the second thing you want to do is pretty much the same thing um, I have been lucky and been able to bait out both of these preservers, um, lead preservers. However, most of the time, my standard operating procedure is just to get the guy on the left. If you can get either the war horse or that other special preserver, you don't have to use scorchers or anything here. Uh, if you've got your Sheila or your Benjamin or any of your special forces um, uh, equipped with the, the charged rounds, uh, then, uh, then you can electrify the war horses. You'll see me do that here in just a second. The war horses are, are no problem whatsoever. But as soon as I shoot that war horse right there, I've gotten lucky a few times, but more often than not, I don't get lucky, and then, and then everything comes out. I have to end attack. So I just pretty much go down to a standard operating procedure here to take out this one side. Now notice. You really do have to watch out on your Banshees on this side because you don't really want your Banshees going any more forward than this. If those special forces are not along that line right there that is in front of that one preserver, then, um, then you're going to be too far forward when you shoot them with your Banshees. All right. So we'll send Benjamin home. We don't need him anymore. We're not drawing anything else out. And um, I actually have uh, an extra charged rounds that I need to install on him as well. That'll be helpful. <clears throat> they have lowered the charged uh, ordnance rounds to 8,000. I paid 20,000 the first couple of times I bought them. They've lowered it to 8,000. It's a good thing to get, and it is also last chance. You do want to get that if you get a chance. The charge ordnance is uh, probably the best tech I've ever countered in War Commander. All right, and the objective here, I would normally have one more elite rifleman team here. However, there's a mountain in the way, so I'm going to, this is what really causes me to have the problem that I do encounter. I do lose a portion of one of my uh, Scorchers. And again, we are in war, so, you know, forgive me for this. I'm just locking my Sheila down here. People see me with two or three battles going on at the same time and uh, and you know I, one of the things I'm doing is is 
marking my territory and the other thing I'm doing is locking my my platoons down I like to do that so um, let's see now we're gonna bring in the elite riflemen the important part here is to definitely spread them out now if I had one more platoon I, I wouldn't have taken any damage um, I like to use five platoons of elite riflemen and then four or five scorchers and also I would have been okay here if I just put them on fist but I didn't trust fist and I just I was doing this manually so that was a mistake of mine you do need to spread these out well if you don't spread them out well the warhorse will um, will um, kill a lot of them at the same time so you spread them out to prevent that from happening the other thing I like to do is if Sheila is by herself or any other special force with the charge ordinance I'll put one on the right hand side of the elite rifleman and just target directly to the warhorse that really cuts down on the uh, attrition rate of your special forces because the uh, the defenders will not or the uh, preservers will not come out after any special force because they are busy with the elite rifleman and uh, that really you know clears up your uh, scorchers for uh, to do more damage to the uh, you don't even have to bother with the warhorse you just go directly for the preservers and then take out that ion the other ion once the ion the warhorse and the preservers are gone then you're home free you can just bring one uh, special force uh, group in here with char nor charged ordnance and take out everything all the rest of the okay see if I had okay I took a hit there from the ion it caused me about 30 minutes damage and uh, the other four scorchers uh, are instant repair one minute and something but, um, so like I said if that mountain wasn't in the way I would have been okay and uh, releasing my Sheila so I can bring her over here she does have the charge ordinance that is the key to these 70s I really don't know what you would do without that you'd have to use a whole bunch of uh, elite riflemen and scorchers to take out these war horses all right I'm gonna come over here I'm gonna take out the tower and then stop there. Don't go back because you're going to draw out the... Uh, um, you can come back to the tower with 500 range and you're okay. Make sure all your special forces have 500 range. You don't want to really, at that angle, draw out the warhorse because he'll draw the second warhouse warhorse with him. So you come here in the front. You know, it takes a little bit more time. You come here in the front and, and I direct Sheila first because she's got the charge ordinance and she's a little bit slower with the charge ordinance so then I bring the other special forces in there you'll see me select and deselect the other guys and that's what I'm doing I'm making sure that Sheila is in front that way she hits the warhorse with the charge ordinance and prevents him from even moving all right now we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna take care of this uh, first silo um, you just want to get in range of the silo and stop because that'll open it up and they'll start coming out with a good group of special forces you'll never even take a hit um, you can take out the, uh, the silo when you're done and uh, and then here's where you have to be careful now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attack this this other defense silo but I'm going to quickly uh, select Sheila and get her to shoot the warhorse now that saves time me doing that you can be a little bit more careful than that you can just forget hitting the silo and go directly for the warhorse I was being a little tricky there um, come back over here to the other side clear out the other uh, drone silo and then like I said you're pretty much this base is just about done um, Sheila is instant repair my elite riflemen are instant repair my air is instant repair and if it had not been for that mistake that I made with my Scorcher, um, getting one shot there, if there had been one more lead rifleman left, I would have been okay. Um, but uh, I don't like doing these when they're not fully accessible, when there's a mountain in the way. It's just not worth the loss. Okay, notice I'm staying out of range of the tower for now. take out the drone silo and then I'll take out this other silo and the, the, the tower is not shooting at me if you're at the wrong angle the tower will get you and then we'll come in we'll take a few shots from this sniper in the tower and that's pretty much it for this base 
we'll head back to the base. We'll see uh, what kind of repairs we got going on. And uh, that's how to do those. That took me about uh, 10 minutes on that one. Um, it was already at about 11 minutes when I started. So it had about a minute left there. Okay, free on the air. 30 some odd minutes there. <coughs> yep. Sheila's on her way back. Good, decent lead rifleman. Yep, she came back now. So lead rifleman healed up here. Sheila, 11 seconds. Alrighty. So I got a few minutes there of repair on my scorcher, but normally that does not happen. I'll put another video out um, where I take no damage just to show you that that is possible and um, not such a rushed one. I only had a few minutes on this one. So uh, hope that helps you out there, guys, and uh, have a good one. See you later.